Hi, my name is Ian Fletcher. I am the Senior Product Manager for Temperature Resistant Coatings here at AXA Nobel. Today, we're going to take a look at a new product of ours called Interfern 2205. I think it is fair to say that maintenance in the oil and gas industry has changed dramatically over the last 10 years. Facility owners are more than ever looking to reduce shutdowns, improve plant efficiency, and extend plant lifetimes. The oil and gas industry continues to understand more about corrosion under insulation, or CUI, and its impact. And so there is the ongoing desire for pragmatic, high performance, and cost effective coating solutions. And the issue is CUI really is the silent killer. You just can't see it. All seems fine, but actually corrosion spots are developing, which if left unchecked will lead to a serious problem. So what actually is CUI? Corrosion under insulation, CUI, occurs due to water ingress through an insulation system, creating a highly corrosive environment against the underlying steelwork. And CUI's corrosion rate can be up to 20 times faster and atmospheric corrosion, resulting in steel loss of 0.5 to 3 millimeters per year. Corrosion of the substrate is difficult to identify without the removal of the insulation and can therefore go unrecognized for significant periods of time. On a downstream oil and gas facility, the potential for CUI is vast. It is said that over 95% of the insulated area in a refinery or petrochemical plant is operating at below 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. And with so much piping and equipment subject to CUI, it is no surprise that CUI maintenance work can take up more than 50% of a typical oil and gas facility's maintenance budget. Maintenance on operating plant presents its own challenges. Blasting can be impractical or restricted in operating facilities so hand tool surface preparation is widely used. High temperature coatings are particularly sensitive to low surface preparation. Site experience shows that coatings in CUI conditions applied onto hand prepared surfaces can fail in less than two years. But with operational losses due to shutdown equipment costing more than $100,000 per hour, the ability to carry out planned or even emergency maintenance whilst the facility is operating can be very attractive. However, the need to coat operating piping and equipment causes technical and practical challenges for traditional coating technologies. Although most traditional solutions can be applied at elevated temperature, very few are actually formulated to, to be applied at such elevated temperatures. And so this potentially reduces long-term performance and leads to extra uncertainty and cost. When it comes to hot application, Many of the existing solutions do not meet functional requirements. Some coatings have poor workability, resulting in reduced application quality. In many cases, the coating needs to be brush or roller applied, and this presents difficulties for coatings formulated for ambient temperature application. Some coatings show early failure due to poor surface preparation. Most existing high temperature coatings, particularly for CUI, usually require higher levels of surface preparation. As they are not designed for hot application, they dry too quickly to enable them to adequately wet the surface, reducing adhesion and performance. So to overcome these issues, we've worked with a major oil company to develop Intertherm 2205. This is for applications to hot process piping and equipment operating between 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit and 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Interdome 2205 is a two-pack product applied in two coats of 100 microns or four mils each. It can be applied on hot steel up to 205 degrees Celsius or 401 degrees Fahrenheit. It has high temperature resistance up to 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit and can be brush or roller applied. It also has excellent tolerance to hand prepared ST2 or SP2 substrates. And it is also fast curing with recoating and re-insulating in 15 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also 85% volume solids and so has a very low volatile organic content. 
Let's take a look at Cyber Interferm 2205's product features in more detail. When Interferm 2205 is applied to hot steel, note how well it adheres to the brush, so enabling excellent transfer efficiency from can to substrate. The next thing to note is how workable the coating is on hot steel. This is its hot spread characteristic. There is very little solvent released. The coating clearly maintains a long wet edge time, allowing it to be applied in a smooth fashion with a low level of brush marks remaining in the film. Now contrast this with an example product of the inert multipolymeric matrix type. Straight away, you see the amount of solvent emitted, that there is no wet edge making the product very hard to work with, and you see that the product dries to leave a very rough surface. And epoxy phenolics can also emit a lot of solvent when applied to hot steel. The issue with highly solvented coatings being applied to hot steel is the risk of pinhole formation, which can lead to early corrosion onset. And so clearly coatings that contain pinholes are a huge CUI risk. Conversely, a coating formulated for hot steel application with a low solvent content and a long wet edge does not produce pinholes and so delivers excellent performance in service. Let's now consider surface tolerance. Intertherm 2205 is ideal for use on steel pan prepared to ST2 or SP2 surface cleanliness. Intertherm 2205 was tested using the Houston pipe test over three different time periods, all over ST2 or SP2 prepared steel and all after our application to a pipe heated to 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The three time periods were three cycles in three days, 30 days, six months. And in all cases, Intertherm 2205 showed no film defects after the test completed. Intertherm 2205 has also been applied to ST2, SP2 prepared steel, at 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit, and then exposed to hot salt spray for 2,000 hours. The pull-off adhesion results are excellent, with the failure mechanism being cohesive splitting of the coating. And we have tested into them 2205 to the ISO 12944 part nine test standard. Two surface preparations were carried out, one on SA2.5 or SP10, and another on ST3 or SP3. Intertherm 2205 was applied at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit and 200 degrees Celsius and 392 degrees Fahrenheit. In all cases, corrosion creep results were excellent. Another attractive feature of Intertherm 2205 is reduced overconsumption. After application to hot steel at 150 degrees Celsius or 302 degrees Fahrenheit, the mean DFT was measured and compared to the target DFT, which in all cases was set as 200 microns or 8 mils. Intertherm 2205 has a mean DFT very close to the target, whereas the mean for the one pack IMM coating was way in excess of the target, and equally the epoxy phenolic coatings also had a tendency to be higher than the target DFT. What about increased productivity? Compared to other coating technologies, Intertherm 2205 has a very short overcoating interval and is sufficiently hard to allow re-insulation to occur after 10 minutes when applied above 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows insulated piping and equipment to be put back into service in half the time needed for traditional coating solutions on the market. So to summarize, traditional solutions are not designed for hot application. And by using traditional systems, both performance and cost issues can be created. Intertherm 2205 was specifically developed to provide ease of application with no special equipment or process changes and to be applied on hand prepared hot steel surfaces. Intertherm 2205 reduces the need to, to take equipment offline. This speeds up application and re-insulation, and so saves time and money. If you'd like to know more about our hot spread epoxy technology, 
please look out for our article in the February edition of the Journal of Protective Coatings and Linings, where we have published more information that shows just how valuable a coating addition into Therm 2205 can be for the maintenance contractor's armory. Thanks for watching.